We are live. Good afternoon to everyone. A pleasant day to each and every one of you. Good afternoon to our Zoom participants and good afternoon to our YouTube subscribers and viewers. So welcome to another e-learning session powered by Ariva Academy. Our topic today, this afternoon, is the power of success attitudes. Become the person who can change during a crisis. My name is Irish Malanda Samson, your host, and I would like to introduce to you our moderator, Mr. Howell Mabalot. Good afternoon, Sir Howell. Good afternoon, Miss Irish. How was miss... your long weekend? A uh, three-day long weekend. Very relaxing. Ikaw, sayo. Kumusta? With kids, of course. Ayan. So, join me, Sir Howell, in welcoming our participants who yes. are watching overseas and they are from Darwin City, Australia, Kowloon wow. City, Hong Kong, um, Chennai, India, Coimbatore, India, Ernakulam, India, Gashabad, Hyderabad, Mylapore, Phoenix, India. Okay. So we have someone from Doha, Qatar as well. Ru, Saudi Arabia, Singapore. Welcome to our e-learning session. Dubai, United Arab Emirates. And we have also um, participants who are watching from Carson City, Nevada, United States. Wow. And Denver, Colorado. Thank you for joining us this afternoon. So in order for us to have a smooth flow of our e-learning session, here are some few reminders. We would like to know who are the first-time viewers here in our webinar, in our e-learning session. Please type in hi in the chat box now and let us know. Where are you watching? So let's check Ms. Elisa Soruela from DepEd Lipa City. Good afternoon, ma'am. Okay, Jane Duque, good afternoon. Ms. Rosemary. Alex Arelon, good afternoon from Jeddah. Wow, thank you for joining us, sir. Rionel Escalona from Calaca, Batangas. Christine Sabate from Davao City. Okay, Elisa, good afternoon, ma'am. Noel Asoy. Joanne Pauline from Makati. Okay, let's do sound check now. So you will be needing a good quality headset. Please use the, the following codes. So type in now 111 to show if you can hear us loud and clear and audible. Okay, 111. Thank you. Mary Chris, Emilou, 111. Emilio, Vid, Vivian, Christian, thank you. Thank you for joining us today. Okay, 222 two, two means you cannot hear us. 2121 two, one means the sound is breaking and question mark if you don't understand anything. But so far, 111, one, one, thank you. Hello, Honora from Florida Blanca, Pampanga. Thank you, ma'am. Okay, and we will be having a quick break later after the presentation of our guest speaker and before we move on to our question and answer portion. Participants' microphones will be temporarily disabled by the administrator during discussion to avoid interruptions. Questions will be entertained after each topic of the session. For questions and clarifications during the provided time after each topic, please click the raise hand button for the administrator to enable the microphone for live questions. Later at the question and answer portion, we will entertain live questions from our Zoom participants. Type in your questions at the Q&A box. One question at a time will be entertained. For comments and feedback, please scan this QR code. This will be directed to our feedback form. Please send us your comments, suggestions, topics to discuss in order for us to improve our future e-learning session. Okay, and to discuss the power of success attitudes, become the person who can change during a crisis, Mr. Howell Mabalot, please introduce our speaker for this afternoon. Thank you, Ms. Irish Malonda Samson, our beautiful president, for the honors of uh, introducing our speaker for today. For the past 15 years, Coach Eric travels to UK, France, Canada, Singapore, Dubai, Abu Dhabi, Japan, Australia, including the USA to implement marketing activities for real estate developers, which he contributed to closing more than 3 billion pesos worth of sales. Today, he is a motivational speaker, international sales trainer, and marketing consultant. 
His passion is to share more than 20 years of business experience to guide Filipinos overseas, foreign investors, entrepreneurs, and professionals. Everyone, let's now welcome my dear friend, Coach Eric Manalo. Hello, Coach. Hello. Hi. Hi. Um, uh, thank you, Howell, and uh, hi, Irish, and to all our listeners and viewers out there, magandang magandang hapon sa inyong lahat. Magandang hapon, Sir Eric. Dito sa BGC, makapal ang ulap. Kumukulog, mukhang uula na mamaya. But then again, nothing can beat the sunshine that comes from within you. Yes, of course. Uh, lahat tayo may glow talaga, eh, no? That oh, we yeah. can share to everybody. Mm -hmm. Yes. We have a power. Yes. And we're excited. Uh, what's the secret to closing billions worth of sales? Sasabihin sa atin ngayon ni Sir Eric Mana. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you, Howell. And now, as we start with our program, uh, I, will, I will share, I would, I'd like to, uh, I'm pleased to share with you this uh, slide presentation, which uh, I prepared for everybody. So, Good, here we go. There we go. Yeah. So, our, top, our topic for today is called the power of success attitudes. Uh, I decided to share this topic because it's very timely. Very timely, to. So, uh, I'm not here just to help them close a lot of sales for Muna. Because I feel that this topic is very important now, now before, before oh, yeah. we enter into the new transition. So this is based on my personal experience. And I'll be sharing some real scenarios that happened to me in my life. So maybe that they could also apply in their everyday life as, they are, as we are entering the transition of the new, uh, new world. Wonderful. Okay. So, yes. So, Sir Eric, so when, once your PowerPoint is ready, you may start. The center stage is yours. All the limelights are yours. I'll be the wind beneath your wings. I'll be facilitating the Q&A after your presentation. Yes. Thank, Thank you, you well. Thank you. So, as you, let's start first with this. Um, before we begin our topic, I'd like to share with you some uh, basic uh, laws in life. No? So, let's start with some foundation. Eh? Because attitude is, is all basically an end result of various stages of our personalities we have thoughts we have uh, vision and we before it becomes an attitude our way of thinking so let's start with the basic that we are all governed by uh, universal laws in life and we, we we cannot we feel that sometimes we have control in life but in reality we're totally not controlled because they are governed by universal laws and there are so many there are several universal laws in life but i'd like to share two of the most um, relevant laws that I believe that will help us in our topic today. The first law is called the law of energy. Where what we focus is what will happen. So this is, first, this is one, one part of, our, uh, of, of how we develop attitudes because we have to understand the concept or the, the law of energy and how it affects our daily life, our decisions. The second area we'll be discussing is called the law of cause and effect. This cause and effect is basically means that for every action has a equal and proportional reaction. Every decision we make has consequences. So let me clarify the two, the two uh, laws. The energy focuses on, we'll be talking about your mindset, the mindset. And the cause and effect, in reality, it, it, this we'll be discussing about decisions that affects our daily life. That contributes to an attitude of success. You see, in, in life, there are two types of energy. According to, uh, if you remember uh, our physics with uh, Albert Einstein mentioned that energy can be created, cannot be created nor be destroyed, but it can transform from one form to another. So in other words, we have energy 24 by 7, my friends, whether we like it or not. It's just, we just have to identify if this energy is positive or negative. It's just like in the real world. There. This, we have negative energy and positive energy. Now, how do you determine if you have positive energy or negative energy? Well, it's very simple. We have these emotions that we feel on a daily basis that determines our thinking and that affects our emotions and our attitude and decisions. So, when you, for example, when you feel that you have strong faith, for example, here are some of some emotions I'd like to share. When you feel love for each other, for yourself, love for yourself and each other. And when you find courage, when you're facing crisis in your life, 
you know that this is a, sor a source of positive. You are in a state of your positive energy. But when you're having negative energy, their emotions also helps you identify if you're having a negative energy today. If you have having, for example, if you're having emotions such as hate, self-doubt, fear, and so many more, you know, so many areas that we feel negative. But these are just the top three which I feel that are very relevant today. Everybody's experiencing self-doubt. I have no doubt about it. We're all experiencing hate. When you open the television, you hear the news, you, you're gonna have, it's going to trigger hate. And of course, fear, because you don't know what's going to happen, which I truly understand from a psychological point of view. I know what it feels to have that kind of uncertainty. And because of that, it will trigger fear. So my friends, there are only two energies in, in life. So we have to, it's very important before we go to the attitude, we have to identify, we have to be aware that there are energies that are, that are inside us, inside our mind right now, that every day we have to battle. When you wake up in the morning, what do you feel? What energy do you feel? Do you feel, uh, uh, do you feel gratitude that you're still alive when you wake up in the morning? Or do you sometimes feel, oh, what's gonna happen in the future? See, those are the two energies that will battle you. And when I was in the lockdown, oh well, I remember when I was in the lockdown, I had this battle in my mind every single day. Waking up in the morning, do I feel negative today? Do I feel positive today? It's never perfect. It's always been a struggle. But what's important is you are aware of these two energies that are, in, that are permanent in life. Whether you like it or not, they will, all, they will always be there. Fear will never be will, is always part of life. Crisis is part of life. But so as hope, it's also that's which is a source source of energy. Now, let's let's go deeper now as we are trying to understand that because this topic, the power of success attitude, is not about business skills. It's not about strategies. This is about you, all of you who are listening right now, who are viewing, watching right now, all over the world. This is for you. We will talk about you as an individual, as a person. Understanding our life better, deeper. Okay, we have what we call public life. It's like you. I'm using a um, uh, 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 the iceberg as a as a metaphor uh, to explain what I'm trying to share to our audience. We all have a public life. We have different types levels of life. The public life is the one that you see above, just like in the iceberg, people, how people see you in your work, in your career. And then we go deeper. The second level of our life is our personal life. Yeah, this is where we um, have our different ibang attitude. Not in a public life, we have a different attitude in our personal life. Which I'll explain later. And of course, we have our inner life. Yes, my friends, we have an inner life. We might think that this is our public life, a personal life, but we also have an inner life. Public life is basically when you go out there, you go to work. What your physical, your financial health, anything that people could see who you are in public and what you do physically and financially in your work, in your business. That's your public life. Personal life refers to the things that are basically emotions, the reason why you are working so hard, the reason why we are here, the reason what the, the, that makes life uh, work meaningful. You have a personal life that's different from public life. And Sometimes they don't, they don't, these things are that they don't see. Like, what's your your mental state, your emotional your emotional state, your health, and our inner life, which refers to our spiritual health, our spiritual health, which is kamusta ng ating spiritual health. What causes demotivation? What makes a person feels feel depressed? It basically it has something to do with spiritual health. It is they are all interconnected, my friends. So these different kinds of life are in different areas different departments but they are all interconnected and this is how we will journey into the interior to your life as a person as an individual to, to further understand yourself so that we can create the right attitude for our success you see so life you know crisis is part of life but you also have to be aware that crisis is also in your mind Forget the pandemic, Muna. Set aside the pandemic that's happening right now for the past two months that we have encountered. No? But you notice it's not about the physical health. Eh? The, the pandemic has affected 
majority of our of here watching, you know, and, uh, and some of our friends abroad, they have affected our mind in some way. But there's good news. You, this, you can treat this crisis as something that will develop you to make you stronger or allow, you to make you, or allow it to make you weaker. You have to make that transition and transform yourself. That should be the direction of our, of our goals, huh? for that to, to transform, the ability to transform. But how can you transform if you have this kind of uh, crisis in your mind? So that's the one I'd like to share with you. Yes, there's a crisis, but number two, there's something you can do about it. And this, that is my, one of my message to you. Now, let's, to understand further uh, how, the, how we can uh, survive the crisis, you know, don't forget, I always use uh, a historical performance. Yeah? And I share to, our, my, to my uh, clients, my friends, Kayo kuba, can I can I overcome these challenges, Eric? Answer is yes, because throughout history we've undergone so many depressions already. If you there's also in history they called the Great Depression, 1930s, where practically 90% of the population was jobless. And but despite of this, there was a crisis in America at that time that was so terrible. There were people who rose, who took courage to fight back this crisis. And these are people like uh, see the CEOs at the time, like John D. Rockefeller, who had uh, uh, initiated the became an oil magnet in the U.S. There was chaos in the oil industry at the time, but to his courage and determination, he was able to supply oil to 90% of America, which helped the progress and the economic development of that country. And of course, some of in history, more CEOs in history, like Thomas Edison. Where we remember him as he invented electricity, but there's also a problem. When you create electricity, no house had outlet, had electrical outlet. So he had to create a power plant for that. Kasi siya nag-invento ng light eh. But every house had no power outlet. So another problem that he had to solve. So he created that uh, industry, that, that problem, he was able to solve it. And that, that's why the crisis was solved. And another CEO, which I'd like to share an example, Mr. Henry Ford. If you, these are some of the, top, the, CEO, the, the, the first CEOs in history who built America. Uh, when he invented, we know him as he invented the car, but actually there, there were already cars during his time. Uh, to have a car at the time, in the 1920s, you got to, be a, you got to have a driver. So it's, in other words, it's so expensive. That was the problem. So Henry Ford came up with a car that was very affordable, is the, the T model. And because of this, he revolutionized the entire industry and even created a, the first manufacturing lineup uh, of assembly line, they call it. That's why it created lots of jobs. So in other words, these CEOs, these, these, these captains of industry had also their ch uh, share of crisis, but they were able to solve a problem in the market. That's why they, it, it survived. It's all because they all had the same attitude of success. They never give up when there were crises. So that's the end. Now, allow me to share more history. You know, I like to share this uh, go, moving forward. Can anyone identify this picture? Maybe just a few seconds. Maybe you can. Can you? Anyone can identify this picture? This is the picture of Intramuros, Manila, in 1940. Shocking, no? How well? Yeah, this shocking. is Manila. Yes, this was after the war when the Japanese has bombed the entire Intramuros, totally wow. devastated. Yeah. Imagine the stress, the, the uh, depression that Filipinos felt during that time. We've been through that kind of crisis. Before, I, my, my grandmother would tell me, Oh, uh, Apo, during our time, napakahirap ng buhay, nung gera. And I would say to my lola, Yeah, okay lang yan lang, okay. But when I did my research, grabe, we, we Filipinos have undergone not just in, in, in life, but also uh, so many challenges in the past. Even our grandparents had cr their own crisis during their time. Yeah. Now, as we move forward, the, the Philippines progressed. And we can see, yeah, we, like places like Makati. Yeah. Of, of course, we, we, we've been growing and booming all these years. But it wasn't, um, we're not spared from crisis. There were also economic crises that happened in our life. If you remember the 1998 Asian financial crisis, I remember the time when the 
for 24 pesos became 53 pesos to a dollar. Yeah. And the bank rates, the bank rates, huh, were like 30 to 36 percent in 98. Can you imagine that scenario? No, yeah, they were, they, it was a financial crisis and catastrophe that happened. And yet, we all survived. We all survived. It's still there. It's not the end of the world, right? So we, we just move on. We Filipinos, we are resilient and we move on. Now, I'm here. I'm showing all these slides to you because I want to remind you what we've been through so that you can, from here, we can find out how we can uh, move forward. Now, in the technology industry, of course, we all know what we all had Friendster before. I had Friendster. But now uh, here comes uh, Mark Zuckerberg, the CEO of Facebook. And he came up with so many, uh, of course, innovations in the industry. There was a problem that he sold, and now he was buying companies. He bought WhatsApp. He bought Instagram. You know, the, you know, already the history. But of course, there were, and then in the '80s, back in the '80s, you remember these? You used to have a Walkman. I used to have a, a Nokia 5110. That was my phone. Akala ko okay na, chill na, chill na tayo, naka cellphone ka na. But you still remember that at that time we had no cell phones. But here comes someone like Steve Jobs who invented the iPhone. And basically now we're all dependent on using this. So what I'm trying to say is throughout history, we are always been transitioning without knowing it. Nagkataon lang that the pandemic has accelerated the change. Masyado tayong nabigla lahat. But if you notice, we have already been doing change. Imagine mo, Howell, dati, uh, when I'm talking to my friends in the U.S., uh, mag-text lang ako, ano yung text? They don't, in, people in the U.S., they don't know how to use text. Well, the Filipinos are already excellent in texting. <laughs> See? So there is already a transition happening in us, through us. And now, uh, people like um, Mr. Eric Yuan, who uh, was denied with his U.S. visa eight times in 2012, he invented Zoom, which we are using right now. And um, guess what? This is now the new normal. Two months ago, we were all, you know, live, face to face. But now we have to face the reality, and we are already doing it. Like it or not, we're already doing it. We're doing it right now. So, and we're doing fine. I think. <laughs> I think we're, we're doing fine. You just, you see, yeah. you just have to be confident. You see, that the oh, what's Zoom? What's <laughs> Zoom? Di ko alam yan. Hmm. When my clients tell me, do you have Zoom? No, I don't use Zoom. Okay? They have to use Zoom. Eh? Yeah. So these, the, these. These things have, have transitioned already without you knowing it. So don't, don't uh, assume that you cannot change because we have already been experiencing change for the past 10, 20 years. Now, in going back to the Philippines now, uh, this was global Bonifacio, Fort Bonifacio Global yeah. City way back 2003. Yeah, that's uh, okay. uh, the, the, yeah, but that was before. <laughs> uh, but, but during that time, no one believed. No one believed in Fort Bonifacio at the time. Mm. Everybody was scared. Developers were having secured their land, but nobody's building a project. But until one person, he built one, built one project there, Essenza East Forbes, and then from there on, nagtuloy-tuloy na. He was one of my mentors, in Mr. Jose Antonio, mm. the chairman of Century Properties. And because of that, he, his bold decision to build one project there had inspired the rest of the developers to, to create projects and which made BGC with this to, as it's today. This is BGC now. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so it, yes. What, plus what, some more, <laughs> some more buildings. Just plus more buildings. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah um, in other words, what I'm trying to say is that we have, we have not undergone not just transition, but also development. We've been growing and growing, growing and growing ever mm. since. And, uh, how does it work? It's, it all starts in belief. Kung hindi naniwala ang ilang tao nung time ng 2003, mm. wala tayo ngayon dito. Walang BGC ngayon. It, yeah. The secret to moving forward is believing in the future. Wow. You have to see it so clearly na kahit wala naniniwala na aasenso pa ba ang Pilipinas, makakaraos ba tayo, you have to be, make that firm belief to yourself. Not to, not to, the, not to any uh, mm. sa'yo muna. Mm. Yourself muna. Because this is, a, this is a clear example, the power of belief, what it can do to an economy, to a country. And uh, I'm also here not just to inspire, but also give you some data, just a few data lang, uh, just to give you an overview of what's going to, because some of them are asking, oh, Erica, yeah, what's going to happen in, in the future? Hmm. Uh, 
I got, thanks to our some of our friends from Lichu who gave me uh, some uh, data, recent data. Mm -hmm. um, the, these, this is a graph we're in the, the called, it's called the, the growth of uh, PESA, or what you call PESA. Uh, these are offices that are basically tax-free tax zone mm -hmm. or applied to, to the government. And then letting you know that there are a lot of um, companies and offices that will be uh, built because there were a lot of application for PESA from 2020 to, to and geared for 2021. If you see the graph in the middle, the year 2021, you could see that there are around 2,234,000 2, PESA applications that were submitted. So what it means in the next few years, of course, there will be new PESA applications coming over, but there will be more offices of PESA accredited office that will be set up. It's just a matter of timing lens. I'm not saying boom, but it's going to be a slow, uh, slowly but surely, this is the basis of our growth that will happen. So that's the, and uh, it's all the way, it goes until 2024. This was before the pandemic. Okay, another trivia. This is the power of belief. Can anyone describe the picture here in the slide? The location of this picture? Uh, clue, it's another CBD, Commercial Best District. Ah, okay. So no problem. Niya, okay? Pa, that, that's right. All right. That's right. Thank you. That's right. It's near the airport. Okay. <laughs> Alam mo, at that time, wal walang naniniwala. Swamp. Well, it was swamp plant. Walang yeah. naniniwala. Uh, yeah, it was just like this that during the time. No one believed. But because of a few courageous CEOs and individuals and professionals, this is what you call now the Bay Area. Yeah, na. Yeah, more than be. 55 residential condos, mm -hmm. more than 25 offices are there, mm -hmm. not just the, M the SMX, we were Arriva, we do seminars in Arriva, don't mm -hmm. SMX. The, my point is, gain ang power ng belief, eh. it starts in your mindset. Mm -hmm. If walang niniwala, walang result. Yeah. So that's the cause and effect. It's like cause and effect. For every action, there's an equal reaction. So because people took action a few, 10 years ago, that's why mm. this is what it is now. So in real life, it's also the same in real life. Nakakarelita sa tunay na buhay. Kung yeah. ito nangyayari to, we can also move from this crisis. But because if we have the right attitude, with them, it all starts in the mindset. Okay, so further, this uh, represents more PESA accreditation of mm -hmm. going on in outside Metro Manila. Yung kanina pinahigita kong graph is within Metro Manila. 200,000 plus. Yun. But mm -hmm. there are more PESAs, are accreditation that are going to happen and this, this is going to happen in areas outside Metro Manila. Uh, you, you have Cebu, Cavite, mm -hmm. Dabao, Iloilo, Pampanga, all the way to Clark. So in other words, north to south, magkakaroon ng development. Nandiyan na yung mga application eh. Mm -hmm. this, okay. data is, uh, this data is proven na ho, nasubmit na yung mga yan. They have already registered. So they're just waiting for the right time and then they will set it up. Again, it's all about belief. Kung naniniwala ka na, asenso tayo, asenso tayo. So that's the key. So it's having, the key is having a success attitude is also the ability to see the future. Magkakaroon ng mga new developments. Now, yes, totoo yan, pending yan. I'm coming from the side of, uh, from the perspective of real estate industry. Being in the real estate industry for 15 years. Real estate is all about belief. Eh. Wala ngayon yan, pero doesn't mean hindi mangyayari yan. So it's all about bold vision and belief and taking action. So yan yung mga mangyayari. So here's another graph that shows, uh, di ba marami nagtatanong, um, let's say, um, okay, how well, what will happen to the next few months? Yeah. Um, mga work pa ba kami? Maaasahan? Mm. Uh, yes, I have to admit, some will not survive, but there are, there are others who will survive. But let me show you this graph, Muna, that have, that was shared to me. This, this was before, this was until January 2019, mm -hmm. before the pandemic, which is my basis or my reference. Kung mag, ano ba yung growth. Okay, mm -hmm. to make it simple, the blue line that you see here, the blue line represents the growth of or the, 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 the office demand, the annual office demand that's happening in the Philippines right now. The Philippines. This is from 2006 to 2019. Now, notice, in 2009, mm -hmm. we had the H1N1 virus, yeah. which was one of the most deadliest virus in history. Mm -hmm. Yes, because of its higher kill ratio. Mm -hmm. And then, 
marami pinag we undergone another challenge na naman 2012 the MERS COVID virus even all people in Hong Kong were covering no mm-hmm. so nakaraos din nakaraos tayong lahat we all survived and then uh, then came we, the, the demand for office increased to to Lucia and the, the the orange represents the annual vacancy of offices it big sabihin the demand is increasing but the supply is not does not meet the demand mm-hmm. What does it tell you? It means more opportunities are going to happen for all of us. Kailan lang maniwala lang tayo mangyayari yan. Okay? These are what industries like the the IT industry, the BPO, ayan na. Wag mo na ipogo ha, wag mo na natin pag-usapan medyo. Uh, ano pa yan? Quiet ka ba diyan? Ah, no comment muna ako diyan. Ang sabi ko muna yung BPO muna, BPO industry, the IT industry and the digital marketing industry which is what we're having. So, kasi nag online na lahat eh. Lahat ng mga companies mm-hmm. mag online So, therefore, more offices will be required para mag-set up ng online. And of course, more homes kasi work from home. So, these are the things that are ano, trending and happening right now. Okay. Next is tourism mm-hmm. industry. Mm. Station one. Alam ko, nagigil na kayo. Yes, yeah, station one. <laughs> I love that place. I love that. Oh, okay. Alam ko, mar- marami pang, alam ko marami pang pictures dyan, pero ito lang kasi kaya ko. Ito lang yung time. Ganda. Pa. Let me share. Mm. Right after, alam ko lahat kayo, gigil na gigil na kayo. Mag-travel, you wanna go out, di ba? Mm. Ito ang good news. Akala kasi nila, nadidemotivate, what will happen to the tourism industry, but I just want to lay the facts. Facts lang po tayo, ha? Para ang basis natin. This graph represents the latest um, uh, number of tourism that's happening right now globally. So where is the Philippines? The Philippines, okay, please bear with me. The Philippines is on the far right of the slide. Ito to, inangita nyo. Philippines yan, ha? The colored mm-hmm. blue bar that you see here, the, bl- the blue bar, represents the number of tourism that happened last year, 2019. Ha? We had more than 107 million tourism local tourism that happened all over the Philippines. Ibig sabihin, ibig sabihin ng local tourism ho, well, you and me, tayo, mm, yeah. lahat Filipinos, na, yeah. na gusto mo, Boracay, mm. Cavite, yeah. mm-hmm. uh, Baguio, mm-hmm. Mindoro. So, yan yung tinatang na local tourism. 107 million travels that happened. Mm-hmm. Now, compared to international tourists, ayun, nasa babang baba, ayun, no? 8.3 million lang, yung color orange. Mm-hmm. orange. 8.3 million lang last year ang tourism. Mm-hmm. Akala natin where, ito yung mga tourists uh, galing abroad, who traveled yeah. all the way abroad, na nagland sa airport at nag-tour di sa Pilipinas. Mm-hmm. So akala natin we're overwhelmed by foreigners, di ba? Ang totoo, hindi. Masyado okay. nga tayong iwan na iwan eh. Compared mm-hmm. to, for example, sa, sa dulo, France. Yeah. Ang France has 90 million mm-hmm. galing abroad. Pero mm-hmm. mismo yung mga taga-France, konti lang sila. Oh, okay. Ito pa, yung nasa, nasa Hong Kong. Imagine mo, no? 56 million ang tourist sa labas. Mm-hmm. Pero sila mismo taga Hong Kong, 7 million, hindi sila yeah. siya ng demand. Mm. So what does it mean? What does it graph mean? Ibig sabihin, after this pandemic, or in the next few months, slowly but surely, magkakaroon tayo ng growth, on tuloy-tuloy lang ang local tourism that will generate mm-hmm. em, ano, employment or income opportunities to our kababayans na nasa, nasa local tourism mm-hmm. industry. Yeah. So that's my basis. That's one of the para malaman natin so that everybody will know na may pag-asa and yeah. this is some uh, data that proves that there is there's hope okay so uh, yeah. okay um this one diba remember if, there was a survey in Gallup the uh, worldwide survey in 2016 na sinasabi nila na 86% of the population of the entire population people are unhappy imagine mo 86% of the global population are unhappy. Maybe they're unhappy with their job, happy with their life, mm. they were unhappy with their relationship. Yeah. So, and of course, these these surveys are important. Although this is important to know employee engagement, especially sa ating mga H, nasa HR. Mm. But during the pandemic, dito lumabas, nasira lahat itong mga survey na to. Oh, nasira yeah. lahat yung mga survey na yan pagdating nung dumating ang pandemic. Mm-hmm. We, we can really change our attitude. Mm-hmm. Like for example, there are some uh, real stories makikita mo sa news na staff sa condo, sa common area na tulog para makapagserbisyo. Yeah. Imagine mo And so many news. I'm sure marami kayo napanood pa sa TV. No? Mm-hmm. Heroic deeds from, sure. uh, from, uh, yeah, from, our, from our Filipinos. Um, ibig sabihin, we... Um, 
we the when once we understand purpose, this is one area that we, we discuss. Once we understand purpose, uh, from engagement, they they are willing to go to sacrifice mm. to the point of to the point of sacrifice. Hindi nito hindi nito employee engagement. Hindi yung it's not about I'm I hate my job. No, wala yeah. na. Eh. Talagang because they have a strong purpose, mm-hmm. they, they 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 it's beyond love. Eh. It's yeah. beyond love for their job. Eh. Mm-hmm. It's a sacrifice. Na. So my point is, we can always change pala our attitude. Yeah. Given a situation, when the de- when the situation demands for it, hindi mo pwede, ay, hindi, hindi na ako ganyan, hindi na magbabago, you cannot change me. That's my attitude. No. Because this proof, this is proof that we can change our attitude. There are still people like that. Okay. This next slide I'm sharing you is, of course, everybody, lahat ng psychologists familiar dito, but to those who are not psychology, baka na take up natin to noon. Mm-hmm. This is called the uh, Abraham Maslow's Hierarchy yeah. of Needs. In 1943, ginawa niya to. Mm-hmm. Um, Noong time na yun, ginagawa niya to, sabi niya, the, of course, we are all familiar, bottom is the psychological needs, safety needs, then we have belonging, psychological needs, the belongingness, the need to be loved, we need to have higher self-esteem and self-actualization. But uh, before he passed away, Abraham, Abraham Maslow passed away, he, w- he said in his deathbed that no, self-actualization is not the highest form of, uh, in, in, of need. It's called self-transcendence. Self-transcendence. Ito yung the ability, the, the where there's a sense of meaning in his yes. work. You know, people like, like us who, who, who reach this, our maximum potential, Hmm. You have this tendency to share it to others. Because otherwise, you won't be happy. Even if you're on the top of the pyramid. Hmm. Ikaw na na-reach mo na, lahat, na-reach mo na lahat ang goals mo. Chill ka na dapat eh. Nagpapahinga ka na lang dapat sa, sa ganito eh. You have a lifestyle already that you're enjoying. But bakit meron pang nagbumubulong sa'yo na tuwing madaling araw na you want to help other people? Just because there's this one need na kailangan pang gawin. And that's self-transcendence. Your ability to share. To do whatever you can to help other people. That's another need. But you will only achieve that once you surpass the other levels. Mm-hmm. The other level. Uh, because uh, uh, our greatest challenge kasi, oh, well, and to all our friends watching this, one of our greatest challenges actually hindi yung food, hindi yung basic needs. Eh. Right now in this pandemic, the most challenging area is the, is the psychological need. Yes. We're having problem right now. The psychological mm-hmm. need. Forget the skills. Forget the how to close the deal. Wala mm-hmm. mo ganyan eh. Talo mm-hmm. lagang, Ang, diba, ang sales kapag nawala ang momentum nawala ang moral wala na eh yeah. it's also the same when they people report back to work next week because naapektuhan at least 25% naapektuhan ng kanilang moral their self esteem yeah. yeah and I, I I truly understand this watching watching all the videos that you had uh, I I watch all of that and I I come to a conclusion that the greatest challenge that you have right now is psychological needs. And I will emphasize this further on my next slide. Now, if you compare, when I, when, if you compare the hierarchy of needs, which was created in 1943, and if you compare this to the triangle of wealth, Howell, you know, yeah. familiar naman kay dito, di ba? The triangle of wealth, mm. this was in 1970s, which started in 1970s, early 60s. We're in, we were categorized as pag poor ka, class C ka, mm, yeah. pag middle class ka, class B, B. Pag high, pag level up rich ka, class A. Class A. So, binigyan tayo, ng, binigyan tayo ng market segmentation. Mm. But when I compare the hierarchy of needs and the wealth triangle, you will discover a pattern. Mm. You will discover a pattern that is, that is affecting us right now, even before this pandemic happened. I noticed that 74% of the pe- people who are, are, you know, below or in poverty, 74% according to the survey, yung poor below poverty level talaga siya. And you will notice in the hierarchy of needs that majority of those who are in that area are also in, in the, uh, 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 on the right side of the, of the triangle. Papapansin mo, notice those who are, who are poor uh, are only, are only, his only priority is safety and security lang, or needs, yung food, basic lang. Okay na sila ron. So, the success level, wala na eh. Kasi, mm-hmm. nandun sila sa level yun eh. And I'm not here to give them, to to give any comments, but of course, nandun sila eh. They're in that stage eh. And um, we, we have to help them eh. We really have to help them. But, but definitely, 
those who are really suffering right now are also having challenges mentally, not just physically, but also mentally. And according to the study, the 25% of the rich or of the, of the wealth triangle are in the, are the lower class the, or going to the middle class na. Ito na yung mga nakakaraos na. Yung more than basic needs mm-hmm. ang kanyang kanyang kinikita. Income level is a bit higher now. Mm-hmm. But if you compare this to the hierarchy of needs, mapapansin mo yung pattern. That these people who are elevating their income have at least a higher level of needs na na-achieve nila. They have, they have a higher self-esteem, for example. Diba? For example, me, I, I, before, I didn't know what self-esteem is all about when I, when I was starting in my career. Basta happy na ako, may trabaho na ako, yeah. 9 to 5, earning 8,000 mm. a month. Okay mm. na ako doon. You know, aking comfort zone. I, I was not aware na nas, I was in the uh, anong class level ko. Basta mm. I just do what, my, my job. And then I discovered mayroon palang tinatawag na self-esteem. And I noticed that those people are you will notice those these middle class families who are with growing income, they have higher self esteem. They, they they feel like a better citizen, a better father, a better family member, someone that they can contribute to society. We have to be an efficient worker. Yeah. So higher share. And last but not the least, you will notice according to the survey of the wealth triangle, only one percent will be fin- of the upper have achieved the level of upper class. These upper class, of course, everybody knows it's are someone with higher income. Something like nakita na ng millions, no? In in a, in population, statistically speaking, konti lang sila na nasa taas. But if you compare this to the higher kidneys, you will also notice the pattern. Oo nga, no? Those in, those CEOs, those rich individuals, you will notice they, they have achieved self actualization. You see the pattern? Yeah. See the see the similarity here. And I discovered that, okay, so ano ang major problem na yun? Okay, so kasi nakapansin mo, those in, like CEO, like Steve Jobs, like Warren Buffet, na-achieve na nila yung highest potential nila eh. But notice those who are middle class and the poor, for example, or middle class, ito yung number one problem nating lahat. We were not, because we were not able to achieve or un, we have unfulfilled potentials. We were not able to develop our self-esteem. Kaya hindi natin nilita nakakarat, nakarating sa taas. It's not about the money. It's not about being successful, having all your wealth. No, it's about the mindset from growing from one stage to another until we achieve natin one's potential. But the greatest problem that we have right now is man's greatest burden right now is unfulfilled potentials. Marami pa tayong potentials na hindi na achieve. Now, you think you have potentials. Or you, have, you have already achieved your potential. But in reality, you can never achieve your highest potential. Never. If you let's say if you hit this level of success, one day you will wake up. Meron ka pa palang kalang gawin. Oh, biglang. And then, pana achieve mo na, meron ka pa palang kalang gawin. Yon. This is why success attitude come, comes about. This is very important. The, 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 having the success attitude will help us go to that direction so that we can help others. Now, the reason why I'm sharing this because I, in my own experience, I have really achieved my own level of success. But when you're in that level, I want to share this to others. If, if, if we all possess it, it's like this, kasi each and every one of us possess a certain knowledge, a certain skill. But if, what if you, but if you possess that kind of skill, what are you willing to do to share that knowledge? Anything. You are willing to share this to anything. Because at the end of the day, merong bumubulong sa'yo eh, Eric. Ituro mo naman yan sa mga tao para makatulong ka. Yun, yung 74, para matulong mo yung 74 na maging 25, na maging 1%. Isn't that a good goal? That is called, that's yes. how we start success attitudes. Yeah. So, I hope that that triangle helps, that, those comparison. Now, according to Gallup, sabi nga na, the definition of success is, is all about money or passion. But in, rea- but in lumabas sa survey, out of 300 participants, Hindi, nag, hindi nagkakalayo pala ang ano, uh, definition of success mm-hmm. if it's money or passion. So my message is, why not combine passion and, and finances, di ba? Mm-hmm. Why not make your passion something na monetize your passion? Pwede naman, di ba? So that you can, you, can, you can achieve it. Sabi nga, money is not the only thing in life. But it's the only thing that everybody keeps track of. So... My, my message is, why not you combine passion 
to make it profitable so you can help others. Because it's called purpose. Ito na yun. What does God want to be done while we're here on earth? Minsan, dumarating yung disappoint na parang, okay, you have, you have achieved a level of success, okay na tayo, chill ka na dapat, hindi ka na nga dapat, dapat relax ka na lang eh. But parang may bumubulong sa'yo gabi-gabi. Or when yeah. you're in my prayers, in our meditation, habang nagdadasal, kasi talaga, oh, well, I have to admit, talaga na, nagdadasal ako everyday. Oh, oh yeah, <laughs> dapat. <laughs> <laughs> But me, me, me and my wife, naku, just ko po, we mm. pray the rosary every night. Mm. Oh, talagang, mm. papapa, alam mo, blessing din eh. Dalawang yeah. buwan kang na-lockdown eh. Dalawang mm. buwan kang nagdadasal eh. Talagang mm. mapapadasal ka. And while you're praying, yes. may pumapasok sa isip mo eh. Oh, ikaw, okay na buhay mo. Kapapaan mm. na may ibang tao. Yeah. Kailan, kailan mo sila tutulungan. That's right. Para may gumagano'n sa'yo. So, Lord, ano bang message mo sa akin? Bakit pa ako buhay pa? Mm. Maybe there's a reason why I'm still alive in this world. Mm. You know, nagpapasalamat ako, you took care of me, hindi ako na nagkaroon ng sakit. Pero, mm. ano pa ang purpose ko? Bakit yeah. pa ako buhay? Maybe yung pala may purpose kayo. Sometimes you already, you already know the, the answer and what your purpose is. Mm-hmm. You already know it. Uh, but of course, sometimes you may already know, but just, you just need to take action. Yun lang naman ang kailangan dito. You just need to take action. It's, it's whispering in your, in your mind. Alam mo yan eh. Alam ko nakakarelate yung audience dito eh. May bumubulong sa inyo eh. Minsan, mm-hmm. eh. There's a voice within, a voice sure. within, a divi- divine voice that's... Para bang ganito na. I was in LA, Howell. I was in mm-hmm. LA in my hotel. Chill na chill ako doon. Tapos sabi ko, one day, three a.m. sabi sa akin, may bumubulong sa akin, oh, free na every, three, every night siya. Sabi, kailan mo, ba, kailan mo babalik? Sa dami na binigay kong biyaya sa'yo, Eric. Kailan mo itu, babalik ko ituturo sa iba? Talagang kinilabutan ako ron. Oh, wow. oh my God. Maybe I need to start doing something. <laughs> mm-hmm. diba? So, ganyan lang. We, we all have our own small blessings, but we have to do something. And it's called purpose. We have to find our purposes. Because, In a pandemic situation, once your purpose is greater than your fears, no crisis can stop you. Wow. You can do it. You can do this. This is something I personal, my personal quote I like to share to everybody. To each I everybody. like it. Yeah. How do we move on from the, from the crisis? How do we move on from this pandemic? How do, I, how do I start to live my new life? Well, my friends, purpose. You have to make your purpose greater. What does God want done? Not what he wants, not what what you want, huh? What he wants done, so that you can help others. And this is called purpose. And when your purpose is higher than your fears, there's no crisis that can stop you. No one. And proof. Here's my proof. Remember our frontliners, my friends. Di ba lahat tayo nagharap ng proof, di ba? When we have a certain mm-hmm. uh, message, which people tend to find proof. Well, here's proof. Our frontliners. Huwag yung kakalimutan sila. Imagine mo, um, what they're doing is more than purpose. I remember how well when I was in New York. Uh, mm-hmm. I was in New York last month. Ito lang March. Uh-huh. Uh, as the pandemic, nag-umpis na yung pandemic noong time na yun. Nasa New York ako na. I was, I was closing deals in mm-hmm. New York. Eh. Tapos sabi ko, pa-uwi na. I had to change my flight back to Manila because of the pandemic. And before my flight, I had the chance to talk to some uh, group of nurses in New York. And um, our brave, our brave Filipino nurses in New York. Nakausap ko sila, mga frontliners sila kagaya. Nagita niyo sa picture. Mm-hmm. Tapos sabi ko, alam niyo, alam niyo, okay na kahit di ba? I mean, sabi mo, maganda swell din yerito. You can go home to Manila. Mm-hmm. Marami na, marami na kay investment. Pwede na kayo magretire. Pwede na kayo magrelax. Pero why are you doing this? Why do you have to do this? To sac- o para isa sacrifice man yung sarili niyo pag bumalik kayo sa hospital don. Mm-hmm. Alam mo, eh, how well sabi sa akin ng nurse. Si Eric, kasi I feel ito ho ang purpose namin sa buhay. I, ito ho ang pakiramdam namin, kaya siguro kami nilagay ng, ni Lord sa ganitong, ganitong mm-hmm. position para makatulong ho sa ibang tao. Para pag dumating ho ang panahon, 10 years from now, 20 years from now, when I retire, looking back, hindi ko ho pagsisisihan itong ginawa ko. Mm-hmm. During, my, during that time, nung people needed me, I was there. I never gave up on them. I, do, I did all my skills all my mm-hmm. knowledge para makatulong po sa tao. Alam mo, I, I, I went to tears. Talagang grabe yung mm-hmm. we were having mm-hmm. I couldn't explain the feeling. May mga yeah. tao pa palang ganun sa mundo. Mm-hmm. Kailangan lang maniwala ka lang. Mm-hmm. And sometimes the pandemic will bring out the best in you. So, what, my main message is this. 
Every time you feel na nalulungkot ka, you 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 want to give up na. Every time you have that that feeling, remember our frontliners. Nakakahiyang mag-give up eh pag uh-huh. nakikita mo sila. Para bang nahihiya ako eh. Na yes. mag, mag, 'Di ba? Ma-depress eh pag nakikita ko yung pinagdadaanan nila. So that gives you encouragement. Mm-hmm. That because they have this success attitude, not just financial. A success attitude is the ability to do what you want. Mm-hmm. With success with purpose you succeeded in helping others that's success attitude for me so don't forget okay remember them see attitude is part of our daily life what we think is what we do and that becomes an attitude i remember do the last webinar mo with uh, professor ricky so oh, oh yeah meron tinatawag na tinatawag na 21 day attitude right oh, uh, habit habit yeah, totoo yun When it becomes a habit, when you're doing, when you're closing deals, magiging habit mo na yung mag-closing deals. When you're helping others, you magiging habit mo rin yan. Kung mainitin ang ulo mo, magiging mainitin ang ulo mo araw-araw. Yes. Kaya tama siya eh. So, it, it, it boils down to attitude. And once it's attitude, naging attitude na yan, it's already in your subconscious mind. Mm-hmm. Pag-attitude na. Kasi why? Nagiging ano na siya eh. Repeated thinking, doing, mm-hmm. it becomes an attitude na. It's an automatic response. Mm-hmm. So we have to understand that attitude is so important in handling in various areas of our life. What is this? For example, when you're facing problem, what is your attitude when you're facing problem? Remember the first slide? Negative and positive energy. Yes. Anong, anong approach ko ito? Negative yeah. or positive? When I'm facing a problem now. When I'm in my health, am I taking care of my health? Mm-hmm. No, but about yes, I'm doing it. Kagaya mo how well I really admire your uh, <laughs> And of course, may iba naman. Uh, wala lang, chill lang. Pinababayan mm-hmm. ng health nila. Mm-hmm. Kaya nagtataka sila bakit sila unhealthy. Nagtataka sila oh, bakit yeah. sila may sakit. Because you, what, your health condition now was your attitude. Was your attitude in the past few mm-hmm. months? So wala kang pwedeng sasing kundi sarili mo, sarili natin. It's attitude. Eh. What's your attitude towards your health? Kamusta na ba health mo? Are you taking care of your health? Importante yan, right? Especially nowadays. Ngayon, tingnan mo, nagbagong attitude ng tao, no? Bigla naging health conscious lahat. <laughs> <laughs> Totoo It yan. You have to take a pandemic. Nagkailangan pa mo magkaroon ng pandemic mm-hmm. para maging health conscious, eh, no? Mm-hmm. Okay. Next, mind. What's your attitude in taking care of your mind? Are you taking care of your mind? Ano bang, mm-hmm. pinapa, ano bang pinifeed mo sa mind mo? Right. Constantly, every day. Mm-hmm. If you watch television 24 by 7, hindi nyo kakayanin. Uh-huh. Local, international news, ay sus, masisira ulo mo. Kasi mm-hmm. nag-feed mo, nag-feed ka eh. So, feed your mind to overcome a crisis. Feed your mind with positive and sure. productive insights. Yan, kagaya mm-hmm. ng webinar ng Arifa, sa yeah. inyo na Irish, maraming natututunan ng mga tao. Yan ang i-feed nyo araw-araw para maka-move on, maka-move forward. Paano ka maka-move on? You don't know how to, what to move on anyway. Mm-hmm. Or do you even have an attitude? Do you have the mm-hmm. attitude to build your mind? So very mm-hmm. important yan. Your mind is so powerful uh, that it could create or destroy you. Mm-hmm. So mamimili ka lang, negative sure. or positive. Next. Your faith. How about your faith? Mm-hmm. I leave this question to all of the audience. Siyempre, hindi, ko masinsa, hindi naman taliguro sa atin lahat uh, religious. Mm. But, of course, for me, whether you like it or not, there's a, there's an invisible force There is. that guides us na kahit anong galing mo, kahit anong nang gawin mo. Imagine mm. mo dumating na coronavirus sa atin. Saan nang galing yan, di ba? This is the time where you have to really, it will test your faith. So what's your attitude towards faith? Mm-hmm. Do you do you really believe, or you deny him? So when, di ba sabi nga nila when you negative and positive ulit. Balikan natin negative and positive. Kasi pag divine intervention positive yan, sigurado, mm-hmm. right? Coming from him. Pero pag pag lumala yon tao sa energy na yon, mm-hmm. nagiging negative energy comes yeah. in, and that's where all the unfortunate things that are, are accelerating, accumulating from that. So, can you follow? I hope... We, don't yes, we can. Ang galing. Oh, I'm not saying... Oh, you see, I'm not saying na anong religion, no? I'm mm. saying is anything that may divine yeah. intervention, sure. inspiration is positive energy. Anything that's outside, once lumalayo tayo sa kanya, pasok si negative energy sigurado. And mm. we will not survive. We will not survive. So, that's your attitude. Be, be very careful with that. 
And of course, service. What's your attitude towards service when you're servicing other people? Do you are you happy serving others, hmm. or do you feel this is just a commitment, a work? Hmm. Dati takot magtrabaho mga tao. Ah, dati no, no, ang daming medyo hindi ganun ka serious magtrabaho. But ngayon nagkaroon ng pandemic, ngayon medyo serious na pala. Hmm. May kasabihan eh, you never know something, you don't value something until it's gone. Yeah. Yeah. So have an attitude of service. Kahit walang kapalit, give it good service. Hmm. Whether you're 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 servicing your clients, your boss, your team members, your workmates, and your uh, family, of course, very important thing. Next, your attitude towards goals. Ano ba, meron bang, uh, what are your goals towards attitude? Do you even have a goal? I think dalawang buwan for, <laughs> for oh, two uh, months tayo na. 70 days. Meron bang, <laughs> meron bang, ano ginawa mo? Di ba? Yeah. Parang ganun ang tanong eh. Ano, ano ginawa niyo sa sarili? Nanood lang ba tayo ng TV, Netflix, yeah. or... You've got to have goals. You hmm. see, that all starts with goals. Eh. Sige, okay, granting, hindi ka pa ready. Emotionally, you're, you're depressed, you're down. No problem. Hmm. But don't be tied forever. Don't let... The, the, your goals have nothing to do with the crisis. Yung pangarap nyo sa buhay. I'm, I'm here. I, I, no, I'm not... Don't get me wrong. Uh, my message is, uh, kung ano may pangarap nyo sa buhay nyo, huwag nyong hayaang masira yun dahil nagkaroon lang ng pandemic. Mm-hmm. It has nothing to do. Your aspirations have nothing to do with your with the pandemic. So keep those goals. Have an attitude of keep those goals alive. Next, skills. Ayan. <laughs> okay, okay na ako dito sa skills ko. And then boom, dumating ang pandemic. Anong gagawin natin? Ay, nako, Zoom. Hindi ko ka expertise yan. Mm-hmm. IT, online. Ayan na. So again, attitude yan, my friends. Attitude. Do you have an a, 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 an attitude to improve your skills? Yeah. Or are you just waiting? What's gonna happen? Are you just gonna wait? What's the next memo? Anong sasabihin ng kumpanya mo? If, let's say na walang ka na work. For example, in my case, if I lose my job na right now, ano pang pwede kong gawin? My mm. attitude is like that. Eh. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, di, kayo kong mag-admin. Kayo kong mag-customer uh, service. I can do training. I can do consult. Multi-talented. Yes, you have yes. set, a set of skills mm-hmm. na kahit mawala ang isa, okay ka lang. Your attitude is okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, I know this is, cha- this is a challenging mindset to have that multiple skills, but it's never too late to start, especially mm-hmm. when you're young. Yung sa mga nanonood ngayon, ng mga bata pa, ng millennials, please, Wag niyo isipin na ito lang ang skill ko, Eric. Ito lang, hindi ko mm. kaya yan. From, from IT, magsa-sales ako. From IT, magagaling. No, hindi ko kaya yan. No. This is part of the, ano, of, 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 um, of life that mm-hmm. we have to be prepared by having an attitude of skills. Next, finance. I thought, medyo sas, ha, sa, susulitin ko na, ha? Medyo, medyo I, sure, I, I sure. Tackle different, di- mm. different areas. Ang dami kasi nagre-request, ang dami nag-message sa akin this past few past few weeks. Mm-hmm. So, gusto ko na isama so sa topic natin. What is your attitude towards finance? Are you taking care of your finances? In, in a pandemic situation, I suggest please reserve, make, uh, uh, keep your resources. Whatever's left. Huwag medyo iwas muna tayo sa mga unnecessary expenses. Oh, I, I'm also guilty with that. <laughs> Kasi, gasos dito, gasos doon. Ito, dumigyan dumating ang pandemic. Ano, ito na. Mm-hmm. So, now, pag, you could blame the world, you can blame the pandemic, you can blame your boss, your economy, your family, but at the end, eh, mo, ah, the reason why you are in this financial problem situation is probably, hindi tayo nakapag-prepare. Mm-hmm. Diba? So, okay, granting, hindi ka nakapag-prepare, and you are now financially challenged. Hindi pa, na, hindi pa huli ang lahat, my friends, may pag-asa pa. Yeah. We can. You, you always remember that you have the capability. You have to believe in yourself, ah, in your attitude. Mm-hmm. De, kayo kung kumita ulit. Na wala man, pero kayo mm-hmm. kung kita yeah. niyan. Pera lang yan. Kayo kung kita yeah. niyan. And I'm, I'm gonna be very, I'm gonna be very careful. So yun ang attitude mo. Mm-hmm. Mina wala, okay. Pero isipin mo yung kinabog. Kahit, kahit hindi pa, you have to um, believe as if it's gonna happen. Na may mga yan. May biyaya yung parating. Yon. May mm-hmm. turn to dun. Lagi may biya yung parating. Don't worry about the bills. Isipin mo yung paparating. Mm-hmm. Meron yan, kahit wala pa. Family. Yeah, what's your attitude towards your family? Alam mo, hindi biro yung kasama mong family mo for 70 days. Ah. 
Oh, wala kami sa social media. <laughs> Pero lalabas din ang uh, tunay na ugali. <laughs> may, may misang magiging moody. Hindi naman kayo puro mm. maganda. Hindi naman palagi nasa Facebook lang. Saya-saya sa Facebook picture, di ba? Pero behind the scenes, may mga kaaway din yan. Na? May mga oh. di pagkakaunawaan. Mm. Oh, I'm just being, ano lang dito, uh, realistic, mm. real life sure. lang tayo. Okay? Hindi perfect eh. Talagang, oh, kas- kasi for the first time, kasama mo na sila araw-araw. Oh. So, nakikita mo yung mga negative side nila, positive mm. side. So, you as a family member or as a head of the family, kanina mag- mag-umpisa ang attitude. Natural sa sa'yo. Yung yeah. nakikinig ngayon sa seminar na sa webinar na to. That, and this is why I'm sharing with you right now. You, you pay, you, maybe you should increase your patience. Mm-hmm. Number one, di ba? Kukulit yung mga bata, turuan mo, guide mm-hmm. mo, gano'n. So, yung attitude mo to your family. Mm-hmm. Kasi imagine mo kung negative ka sa family, negative na nga scenario, negative ka sa family mo, mm-hmm. you know, wala eh. We will not achieve a successful life. And that would be one of the goals is to be, have a success attitude sa have a successful family life. You cannot yeah. be successful in your career if you don't have a successful family life. Kailangan connected siya. Mm-hmm. It has to be connected. Next. Okay. Next is what we call team. Mm-hmm. O yan. Pag ako, sa mga paampayo ko sa lahat, when you come back to work next week, doon sa may mga work mga babalikan, mm-hmm. at yung mga ano, please, kamustahin nyo yung mga kasamahan nyo sa trabaho, reach out to them, Kamusta ka na? Are you yeah. okay? Pwede ba tayo, pwede tayo mag-usap? Can you reach out to them, please? They need your advice right now. Um, and this is for your attitude uh, of being a listener. Hindi bilang advisor agad, ah. you mm-hmm. listen first. Yeah. Them. Yeah, para magkaroon ng, magkaroon ng ano. Kasi hindi lahat ng tao positive, eh, Howell. Totoo yan. We are so fortunate here, tayo, at mga nagkikinig ngayon, we, kahit paano, we have a very positive mindset right now. Mm-hmm. But in the real world out there, hindi ganun. Ninety mm-hmm. At least 90% ng population yeah. na yun don't feel the same that we are doing right now. Kaya please, when you come back to real world, mm-hmm. be, listen to them. Reach out to them. Baka naman may problema sila or may, kahit hindi mo mas matulungan, at least may, be heard of. Mm-hmm. So, yan, so they, these are ano, uh, some examples of how you can apply attitude Uh, success attitude and different areas in your life so that you can live a very uh, meaningful, not, not wealthy, you know, meaningful life. Mm-hmm. So start with your attitude. So thank you for that. Next. The key to having a success attitude is this. Tatlo yung, ito yung ginagawa ko sa sarili ko. It worked for me and I hope it worked for you. Mm-hmm. Um, alam ko marami na kayo nabasa ng libro and webinars and I appreciate that. Ito yung dagdag. I just like to add this one. But this, this one works for me. Simple lang. Vision, decision, and action. The, the key to success is this. Vision. Even how do I visualize myself from this pandemic? Tama sila. Sige. Take your time. Wag muna, wala mo ng plano-plano. Sige. Mm-hmm. Di ba? Sad mode ka muna. Pero teka muna. Wag forever. Yeah. So what do you visualize? What Start with your vision. Uh, how do I see myself in the next? Most I people and most that. businesses have to can see shoot a video yourself. like this. And then from that, agree, right? from that vision, so you now make a decision. Stuff like this. Okay, I'll make a decision and I'll commit to this well, decision like this. no matter what. It's the little to touches like to this and that make a video look a lot action. less When you say taking action, and a whole lot this is not about professionally produced. Uh, doing this for one week and this. then after the webinar, Which wala you keep mm-hmm. watching? Which of us it looks better? It must be consistent it used to be action. You, you never give up until you achieve your target. Quality, you either have you to pay a professional, professional editor mm-hmm. so what is this? Here are some four tips so that I'll be share. Number one, self-improvement. But not anymore. How I improve myself, what's your vision, decision, and action to improve your yourself, in just and then how do you, and all you how do you have a vision, decision, and action for your family? How do I see my kids coping up you can use with this uh, of pandemic? Effects, mm-hmm. Okay, I'm sure lahat kayo, music, okay, sound, and everything and of course, else on every vision, um, decision, action for your purpose in life, and the future. Yeah, yung yun ang apat na very important uh, target that we should uh, yes. marami pa yan pero these are I feel this I feel this is the four major areas in our life that we have to make a vision and then making a decision and then taking action mm-hmm. like for example looking at the future see the future kagaya ng BGC right 
Hindi Oo. nagkaroon ng BGC kung wala nagkaroon ng vision. Mm-hmm. May mga, di ba? May mga tao nagkaroon ng vision. Hindi. Aasenso mm-hmm. tayo. O yun, yeah. nagkaroon, boom. Yeah, it's, it's the only way eh, to find out the future eh. you, by making decisions now. And it starts with vision. See, whether you like it or not, this is the new normal now. Transition and transformation. From office work like this, nakasanay yep. natin lahat, to this, this is our, this is our new world. Mm-hmm. And relax lang. It's not the end of the, it's not the end of the world, my friend. Hindi to kagaya sa mga movie na papanood niya na sumasabog na, to, to, yun na, may Armageddon na, na pa. Uh, <laughs> we're, 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 we're still alive, oh. oh we're still alive. Oh, oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Wake, wake, wake up. I'm here to wake you up. We're still here. We're still okay. And I'm here to let you know na makakaraos tayo. We can, we're not doing it, actually. We're now slowly. From the time na wala, nung panahon na walang cellphone, ayaw ko, oh well, kung naalala mo, pero ako, tanda-tanda ako pa yung panahon na walang cellphone. Oo oh, naman. Hi. <laughs> college, college, college time. Wala pang college, cellphone right? doon. Oh. Wala pa. Lahat tayo, uwi ng pagkatapos ng college, diretso sa bahay. Mm. Wala pa yung cellphone, cellphone. Pero nang karong cellphone, atay, nasanay. Ganyan din to. Mm. Yeah. Kung di ka sanay sa mayroon. Ngayon, di computer na ang mga meetings mo. Okay? Alright, so this is one of the most important topic in our attitude now. Mm-hmm. This circle that you, the red circle that you see here, represents the areas that are beyond our control. Mm-hmm. They are under control, huh? And the blue in the middle that you see here, this is the area where yeah. the areas in our life that's within your control. Mm-hmm. Hmm. People are telling me most of the time na kasi hindi because they don't they have before I share this they say me oh Eric naku paano yan paano yon puro reklamo eh no mm-hmm. stress okay so let's find out muna let's dissect all your issues and let's see kung yan ay within the control or mm-hmm. beyond your control bago mo sabihin I surrender suko na ako hindi ako makaka move on uh, before you say those things tingnan natin when you are in a crisis is that beyond your control Uh, I like to ask the audience. Yes. Okay. Type in yes, yes if you believe this is yes. yes. Oh, this is a quiz. Huh? Yes or no? Lang ang sabi uh, they, yes they're or saying no? yes. They are all saying yes. Okay. Good. Oh, oh why? Yes. I I agree because crisis is beyond their control. Dumating mm. yung pandemic. Eh. Sambang mm. galing yung coronavirus na yan. Wala na tayong magagawa nang yan na yan. Eh. Mm. Okay. Next, economy. Is this something? These are things that wala tayong magagawa, right? Yeah. Ko ang dollar naging 24 to 53 in 1998. Wala kang magagawa. Grabe 'yan. Economy 'yan eh. Yes. Bank rates in Hobel 30%. Mm, grabe. Mhm. Kawawa man ng loan. Mm-hmm. And then next, past. Is there something yeah. you can do about the past? Wala na. Hindi tayo kagaya ng panahon nila sa X-Men eh, si Wolverine bumalik sa time. Para na may time wala capsule, na, no? Time machine. Walang time wala capsule eh. eh. Yeah, wala tayong uh, time, time machine. Time, ano, time stone mm. eh. Mm. Time, time stone ni Thanos, wala eh. <laughs> yeah. So these are things are beyond there. So out na yan. Huwag mo ng problema yan. No? Di ba? Change. How about change? Alam mo, sabi nga na, I got 50-50 answers on this one, Howell. Eh. Sabi niya, yeah, kaya natin baguhin yan. But no, majority pa rin say, no, it's beyond mm-hmm. our control. Okay, mm-hmm. sige, granting. Lagi natin dyan. Yes or no? Ito pa. Next. How about negative people in your life? Ang dami Do yan. Do you consider this as yes or beyond your control or no? Ayan na. Nakikita ko na yung mga messages. Yes They're or no? They're still saying yes. They're still saying yes. Yeah, yeah. Pagsama-samay mo na lahat, ha? kamag-anak, mm. mga dad past friends, okay? Bashers, haters, <laughs> etc., etc., okay? Uh, uh, negative Ang dami niyan sa life, Facebook. Wala. Ang dami niyan sa Facebook. Mm-hmm. Sa, wala kang magagawa. Totoo. Mm-hmm. Negative, negative people. people in your life. Wala, wala kang magagawa. Eh. Nandiyan na yan eh. Challenges. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Is this something beyond your control? Probably. Challenges are there kasi hindi mo matatapos yan eh. Mm-hmm. Kung may dumating na bill sa'yo, next month may bill na naman. Oh. <laughs> Nag-accumulate <laughs> na three months pang fourth month na. <laughs> diba? Never Uh-oh. ending ang challenges eh. So, okay. Lagyan natin siya sa beyond your control. Sige. Okay. Lagyan natin yan. How about fears? Yes or no? Yes. Kasi like, it's like uh, people we, we consider as beyond your control because Uh-oh. parang negative energy yan eh. Nandyan na yan eh. Mm-hmm. Positive and negative, wala kang magagawa. Hindi mo kayang tanggalin ng negative eh. It's always there. How about time? Time. Para bang kulang na kulang ang time, ano? 
Let's say you have two months. Th- and this could be our last day for all we know. Mm. Diba? Correct. Yes. I mean, if this was the last, ito na, Howell, for example, I'm, I'm medyo makakalungkot sabihin ko, diba? especially mm. to those who were infected by the virus. Diba? Yeah. Diba, diba, pag na-infect ka ng virus, two weeks na lang. You only have two weeks to live. Mm. So, I'm, what I'm trying to point is this. If you have time, if, kung nyari, alam mong kahit wala tayong sakit, we mm. all know that we will pa- one day we will pass away. Yeah. So, what's the problem? Diba? So, dapat hindi ka dapat na de-depress. Dapat lalo mo ilabas ang galing mo. Yeah. But uh, sad to say, this is something that people believe that's beyond their control. We'll, we'll find out. Next. The future. Oh, yes. Sabi, sabi ko kanina, some future should be envisioned. But yeah. based on my survey, marami pala nagsasabi, wala sila magagawa sa future. Mm-hmm. Uh, what's in store for me? So, nilalabas, mm-hmm. nilalabas, nilalabas, nilalagyan nila sa, sa red circle. Yeah. It's something that's beyond their control. Which is mm-hmm. probably true. But we'll find out in this next slide. So, yan yung mga sasabing things that our people are complaining that's beyond your control. So, mm-hmm. this is the attitude that I would like to share to everybody. The same attitude I had uh, when I encountered all of this. Kasi lahat naman tayo nakakaing Change your attitude and you change your reality. You see, oh, yeah. you and me, all of us, we all have a different reality. Iba ang reality ni Howell, iba ang reality ko. Iba ang reality ni isang CEO, Ibang reality na isang janitor. Hmm. Ibang reality na isang bata. Ibang reality na isang adult. True. So we all live in different realities. Some, you accept, you have an accepted reality, I have an accepted reality. Hmm. And we respect those realities. But when you want something so bad, you want hmm. change, you want to move on, if you apply, if you change your attitude, you can alter your reality. You will start to begin realizing yeah. things. Hmm. No, na, kaya ko pala. Dati po hindi ko kaya mag-zoom. Ngayon, kaya ko pala. So, diba? you, you Two months ago, yun. di ko alam yan. Di ko rin alam yan. Uh-huh. So, you're changing your attitude. Yeah? And then, uh, ito, be responsible for your success. Ito napakalag at gusto ko i-share sa inyo lahat. The key to a success attitude is being responsible for success. Mm-hmm. You, ha- you don't pinpoint anyone. You don't blame anyone. Your parents, mm-hmm. your, 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 your family, your wife, your spouse your boss, your economy, mm-hmm. wala. Yeah. Because if you don't have these two, two items, you cannot change attitude. Forget this webinar. Hindi natin ma-achieve yung gusto natin. Mm-hmm. So these are the two important elements eh, to change your attitude. Right? Changing your attitude and being responsible for your success. Your success. Because remember, no one is responsible for success hindi kayo lang. You are accountable to yourself. Not to anyone. To yourself muna. Now, if you apply this, that you, that you now within your control, your 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 circle, your, your circle now within your control will now expand. Mm-hmm. This is my my advice. Kaya nung di ba late late nung uh, within your control. My advice is you now with with the right attitude, with the yeah. right mindset, you can now expand mm-hmm. the, the the area within your control. And what are the key steps to this? First, start with vision. Vision. Uh, start with your vision. Anong how do I see myself rising from this event to this problem? Then from there, from having the, the, the vision, then you make the decision. Hindi mm. pa action, ha? Yeah. This is just the first part. Uh, I'm not saying na go, 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 rally, rally. No, hindi ganun. Mm. Decision. Kasi, uh, okay, kailangan kasi bumalik, maging balance ka muna. Eh. Okay, vision, and then making the decision. And then what's within my control? Ano bang kaya kong kontrolin? How about strategies? Kaya ko bang kontrolin strategies? Oh, nairam, oh, wala ka magagawa sa crisis, pero you can strategize. Mm. You were given a mind, a very talented mind to strategize. Oh, sige, gagawin ko? Sige, cost, cost cutting, o oh, tsaka focus muna ako sa mga ganito. Marami kang pwedeng gawin, magugulat ka na. You'll be surprised. Ang dami mong pwedeng gawin if you have that mental attitude of being strategic in your moves. But you cannot mm. do this if you don't have a vision and then you make, make the right decision. And the next is taking action. Ayan, napakahalaga nito. Hmm. Maaring wala kang magagawa sa problema, but there's something you can do with your action. Oh, yeah. Now, the question is, are you going to take positive action or negative action? Dalawang klaseng energy, remember? Hmm. So, positive action means I'm going to do something. I'm going to be very proactive. I'm going to participate. Hmm. I'm going to support. Hindi yung, I'm going to complain. I'm going to reklamo. I'm going to bash. Hmm. Hmm. Imagine mo, Howell, sa dami ng mga tao na ubos ang oras ka babash online. 
Totoo yan. Yeah, see? That's what I'm trying to say. These are people who are be, the red circle. So don't be in the red. Yeah. Be in the blue. Try to... And then, your attitude. This is yeah. something that you, only you and you can control it. Okay, so may mga problema. Okay, mm-hmm. let's do it. Minsan, nalapit yung spouse mo sa'yo, sweetheart, paano to? Paano yung mga bills natin? Di ba ikaw naman eh? Ah! Paano ka rin? No, no. Subukan mo. Practice lang ito mga kasama. Practice lang ha. Subukan mm-hmm. yung gawin itong mga techniques ito. And then, mm-hmm. sabi ni Eric, yung bio, expand my control. Relax ka lang, sweetheart. Chill ka lang. Mm-hmm. May, bia, may, may awa ang Diyos. May, maka, I will work hard. I will find a way. I'll strategize. Mm-hmm. I'll improve mm-hmm. my skills. Blah, blah, blah. So, lahat na yan. Mm-hmm. Nandito lahat yan sa blue. And then, you'll notice, you will notice now, na dati, by expanding your focus, kasi remember the power of focus, what you focus your energy constantly will mm. happen. True. If you focus on negative, negative yan. Yeah. If you focus on positive, ah, positive yan. And if you, if you apply this technique, I, I promise you, my friends, na dati akala mo, biktima ka, wala mm. kang magagawa, tatanggapin mo na lang yung mga nangyayari, madidepressed ka forever, mm. you will be surprised. You, have, wow. you will realize you have the power to control now. Ah, kaya ko pala. Galing. Tama yung sinabi ni na Howell. Mm. Ang galing. Diba? So, nagkakaroon no. sila ng, ng ganun. Eh. Nag-umpisa. So, that's the, these are the two circles which I like to share. Too. Very important in changing our attitude. Because, um, sabi nga nila, oh, it's, it's, about, it's all about, attitude is about, it's about this. Eh. Mm-hmm. Because, my friends, the crisis doesn't care. Mm-hmm. what you think or feel it doesn't really care mm-hmm. whatever course ang kinuha mo whatever money you have in the bank no mm-hmm. it doesn't really care jobless ka it doesn't care what we can change we can change the situation but we can change our attitude ito na lang yung tinatawag na last human freedom natin that we can yeah. do something yan remember it's our human freedom I can change my attitude yeah. at least man lang maging masaya kami ng family ko Mm-hmm. Diba? Okay, now, maybe try to, by, by having faith and then assessing the situation and then preparing to evolve in the new normal. Take note of the word evolve. Mm-hmm. Evolve. Para kang cocoon. Ito yung na, nakwenta niyo minsan ni Suset. From a cocoon, mm-hmm. mag- yeah. reinvent. reinvent diba? uh, so, ganun talaga eh. We have to, don't be the, the worm lang. <laughs> Mm-hmm. You have to evolve to be a mm-hmm. butterfly. Yes. Thank you, that. Thank you for that. So that's the key to success by first having control. At yung doon sa mga nagsasabi dyan, uh, eh Eric, paano naman yung government at kung ano na pa, di ba? daming mga reklamo sa buhay, no? <laughs> Wala kang magagawa. Eh. Sad to know, no? Okay, sige. Andyan na yan eh, my friends. Andyan na yan eh. Wala kang magagawa. Eh. But here's my assignment to all of you. Here's my assignment. This is from me. If there's nothing you can do to change our leaders today, you're focusing beyond your control. If you're mm-hmm. forever, there's nothing you can do about them. Be sure you develop the next leaders who can change the world. You make sure the mga bata, the mga kids, sila next leaders. You make sure, ha? Puro ka reklamo, ha? Sige. Mm-hmm. <laughs> But make mm. sure yung mga bata na yan ay sila ang next generation. Help them succeed where we failed. Kasi kung sino man ang nakaupo ngayon, di ba, in any position, kasalanan din natin lahat yan eh. We are responsible for that. Whoever is your leader, your boss, your manager, whoever these, all these people are connected eh. But make sure you develop the next generation. So that they can succeed. Kaya na ginagawa na Ariva sa mga scholars. Ito. Nakaka-inspire, hindi ba? Yes. Their, uh, Ariva is in, uh, supporting the scholars para sila na magiging next uh, influencers ng ating bansa. And, of, uh, here's, and then uh, here's another I'd like to share. Whatever stories you believe about yourself becomes real. It becomes real. Because the crisis is just a chapter of your success story. Lahat tayo may tinatawag na success story. Mm-hmm. What, but all believe it's, this is what you call self-worth. Self-worth natin. Huwag yung kakalimutan. Mm-hmm. Remember the key word, self-worth. Whatever you, these are stories that you believe about yourself. Kunyari, if you're a wife and then you, you're, you're, you're a husband and you feel you're not worthy, yun ang mangyayari. This feeling that comes to you constantly. Bakit nagkakaroon ng hindi pagkakaunawa ng mag-asawa? 
it's because of the little things that you do every day. Are you doing something to add value to her? Or are you being a liability to her? It's just a, just a, it's just a question, my friends. Because it's all about what you, the story is about. Ah, hindi ko kaya magbago, Eric. Yan na, may story ka na, no? Mm. Hindi ko kaya magbago. Kasi ito lang alam ko, mm. eh. Yan ang problema. Yan ang problema. Mm. You have to understand that every, uh, it's, a, it's, a, um, it's a chapter no? in your life. What do you mean chapter? For example, in this picture, transition to where you are now. This is the most, one of the most important things eh, uh, to have achieved a successful attitude. Eh, mm -hmm. Is that to, you have to have the ability to transition from where you are now to where you want to be. Mm -hmm. This picture that you see here, we're going to do it, we're going to do it. Now, we can't do it face to face. Uh -oh. my, my, uh, one, of my, one of my first job, Howell, I started, I had humble beginning. I, I work as a waiter. Mm -hmm. Nagtrabaho ko ang inyong lingkod. I work as a waiter. I was proud of that job for two years. Yun ang mm. comfort zone ko. Happy na ako ron. Maging, yeah. Ang pangarap lang namin mga... Yeah. Ang pangarap lang namin. Noong time na yun, I was very young. Um, mm. In my 20s. Sabi ko nga, ang pangarap lang namin lahat maging regular employee ng hotel na yun. As a waiter. Happy na ako doon. Yun ang comfort zone ko eh. Ooh, wala na yung mga... Hindi ko, never in my dreams na magiging ganito ako. World traveling speaker. Wala. Mm -hmm. That was my mindset. That was my mindset during that time. I don't know about self-esteem and transition. Wala naman mga mentor nung panahon na yun eh. But when I was working there as a hotel, sabi ko, nagkaroon ako tinatawag na self-realization. Do I see myself being a waiter forever? Or maybe there's something I can do better to help others. Mm -hmm. Nagkaroon ako ng ganun mindset. Now, there's nothing wrong about being a waiter. Kaya lang, marami akong gusto pang gawin. There's so many things I want to do. Kasi hindi ko magagawa in the boundaries of that job. So I had to make a transition. I moved from, I resigned from that safe and the uh, <laughs> bing cafe and pagkain lahat. I had to let go of that uh, very prestigious job and to hmm. experiment. I did a lot of experiment, a lot of failures so well. Yeah. Sinubong ko mag-sales na yan. Mm -hmm. So I, after I uh, nag nagbenta ako ng encyclopedia, <laughs> ng caldero, ng vacuum cleaner, every mm -hmm. year I was moving from one job to another. Why? Why? Because I want to learn new skills. Mm -hmm. I was so determined. Hindi ka naman mm -hmm. pwedeng waiter, tapos next week, ano ka na, nag, nag seminar ka na, right? Mm -hmm. Hindi. It, 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 the, the journey of that transition took years yes. in the making. From being a waiter, learning sales techniques, hanggang naging speaker ako, hanggang naging consultant ako. And this is where, this is where I am right now. This is the transition. Wow. Right okay. I'm now traveling the world, Meeting investors, closing deals mm -hmm. all over the world, doing seminars, inspiring Filipinos. Pero hindi ko magagawa to if I didn't have that mind transition from being a humble beginning as a waiter and uh, believing those, mm -hmm. removing those stories, all the negative things, and believing that I can do it, I can change, I can improve, I can innovate myself step by step. I'm not saying big lano, step by step until ma achieve ko yung goals ko. And this is where I am right now uh, as proof that what I'm sharing with you is based on my real life experience lang. What, what happened to me? What works for me? I don't know sa iba, but this is what happened to me. That's why I'm sharing this. I'm passionately sharing this to you because it's possible. You can change. It is. My friends, mm -hmm. you can change. Mm -hmm. This is not the end of the world. Mm -hmm. Naranaso ko magtinda ng chicken sa kalye. Manok. Kaling, no? <laughs> oh, ganun. Vendor. Naging street vendor tayo. Ang dami kong pinagdaanan. Yeah. Kaling. Nakaka-relate yeah, ako sa'yo, Sir Eric, ha? Yeah. Kasi working student din ako doon. Mm -hmm. Kasi pag may dumating na crisis sa buhay mo, wala-wala ng image-image. Wala na brand-in-brand. Oo, brand, totoo brand, yan. No? Yeah. Wala akong, I don't care kung sabihin oh. ng ibang tao sa akin. I just go out there and be mm -hmm. fearless. So, yun ang share ko sa inyo, ha? Feeling. So, yan, uh, that's my story. And I hope naka-inspire sa lahat mga kasama natin doon. So, mm -hmm. here are the 10 success attitudes which I'd like to personally share. Yeah. From my personal experience, my humble personal experience, which mm -hmm. I applied in my 20 years, which I hope it will help you a lot. It helped me in my career. It helped me in my transition. It helped me survive the pandemic. Even now, mm -hmm. ito na nakatulong sa akin. So, and I'm, I'm sharing this to you now. Okay, if you're ready, let's yeah. go. Success attitude number one. This is very important. Know your potentials. My friends, akala natin kasi wala kang potential eh. You were made to believe since you were young na, oh, anak ha, ito lang. <laughs> ito magiging, mahirap lang tayo ha. Ito mm. lang ang magiging, maniwala. 
oh my God, may mga ganun ka maririnig ng mga ano, uh, mind conditioning. But you remember this, you have so much potentials in you. You have no idea how unlimited you are. So please, don't think now you're just one job lang, okay? Or one career lang. You have multiple potentials that you can get out. You can close it. Number two, this is very important. Find your purpose in life. Find your purpose. Even if it takes you a lifetime, wag mm. itigilan yan. Because purpose is the, the ultimate achievement of your, of your um, uh, ful- fulfillment of your goals. Because, you know, for example, passion is different from purpose. Mm-hmm. Passion is, although it's, these are activities that, you're, that, you're, that you follow with your heart, this will lead you to your purpose. Yes. Yeah, magkaiba yun. <clears throat> so, find your purpose. Sometimes, 90% alam niya na purpose niyo. Kailan tinatago niyo yung sarili niyo. You're mm-hmm. hiding from your own potentials. So, get it out of your system. Find your purpose. You're, find your purpose and just do it. Next, you take responsibility. I never blame anyone. Naghirap kami ng family ko. Alam yan ng parents. Nag, I, I grew up from a, a stable family. Naghirap mm-hmm. kami, Howell. We lost our everything. We lost everything, literally. But I never blame anyone. Yeah. I took responsibility and I did my best. Kahit mahirap, start from the bottom, don't worry. From having two drivers in high school, mm-hmm. bigla na lang after a few weeks, naguhugas na lang ako ng plato. Yeah. Imagine mo yung transition na yun. Yeah. Siguro sa mga middle class, hindi ka ma... I don't know, but it all boy, it's taking responsibility. So, okay. So, okay. Naghirap tayo. Okay, game. Go. Go lang. Yun ang attitude. Taking responsibility. Don't forget. Number four is also important because this is what in my career, this is the, the, the principle that I use in all my career. Value mm-hmm. their trust. Yes. Kapag nag, may nagtitiwala sa'yo, kasi karamihan kasi, well, we become complacent in our mm-hmm. job, in our career, in our business. Pag may nagtiwala sa'yo, tendency ng ibang Pilipino, hindi naman lahat, mm-hmm. di ba? They tend to take relax. Advantage. Mm-hmm. Take advantage. Minsan, not the point na, alam mo na, they mm-hmm. can taking something pa nga, eh, no? Mm-hmm. Doing things na mali. Yeah. Inisira nila yung tiwala nila. Notice mm-hmm. yung mga na, walang trabaho yung, or nawala ng opportunity despite all their talent, ang, nasi, dahil nasira yung tiwala ng tao sa nila, they're, where are they now? Where are they now? They're, wala na. They're struggling. But if your, your attitude is taking care of other people's trust, nagtitiwala ka sa akin, you're my boss, nagtitiwala ka sa akin, boss, I will work very hard Mm-hmm. to keep our company. Iba, iba ang dating nun. Iba yun. You will never run out of opportunity. Boss, ito yung, meron kang, nala, meron kang pera na iwan, no? ito. Di mga ganun, honestly. Mm-hmm. Notice yung mga, di ba, kitang-kita mo naman sa mga taxi driver na nagsusuli ng, ng mga, ano, na, na iwan or what. They're, they're, they're given, they have the highest opportunity compared to others. So this is very important, eh, valuing people's trust. May nagtiwala sa'yo, yan ang secreto for success. Yan, believe me. Mm-hmm. Next, live life your life with integrity. Alam ko marami baka may mga some of you may agree sa mga hey, Eric bakit ganun? Pwede naman tayo mabuhay na nadadaya ng kapwa, di ba? Yeah, but the question is nasaan na yung mga yun? Yeah. Where are they now? Yung mga nadadaya na yan. So don't mm-hmm. please remove remove them from the equation. Mm-hmm. You live your life with integrity kahit mm-hmm. lahat is dishonest. Mm-hmm. You live your life. Why? Because when the time comes, you are you have your family to share this knowledge of yours. Talagang yung pangalan mo na ingatan mo, mm-hmm. not not pera ha, yung pangalan. But when you have an integrity, your name itself palang na banggit palang pangalan mo. Talagang wala ka ng problema sa opportunities. People will come to you. Will, boss will hire you because you are a person of integrity. Wala kang dinayang tao. Wala mm-hmm. kang niloko ng kapwa. That's my secret. That's why I closed 3 billion sales. Oh, well. Grabe, no? Yeah, because when someone take, pag may, buy, may kliente ako nagtiwala sa akin, iniingatan ko yan. I value their trust. Hmm. I live with integrity. Pag sinasabi, eh, wo, 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 mag, no, no, no. Hindi ako, hindi ko, hindi ko, hindi ko, hindi ko sisirain ang tiwala ko. Hmm. Hindi ko sisira, hindi ko sisirain ang pangalan ko para sa ganyan lang. Yeah. Yan yung tinatawag na integrity. Believe me, my friends, pag na-apply nyo to, well, wag niyo ng problema yung trabaho. Believe me. People, will, you will never run out of opportunities because you are a person of trust and integrity. Yes. Success attitude yan. 
Next, believe in there's that there is good. Oh, sabi na natin dami makukulit diyan, pasaway. But always believe that there is good in people. Marami na akong mga taong kinuha ko, Howell, marami akong mm-hmm. taong pinagkatiwalaan pero niloko ko. Mm-hmm. Or they, they stab me behind the back. Na, mm-hmm. Nakaranas din ako ng ganyan. Sinuportahan mo lahat-lahat. Tapos inaaway ka pa rin. Mm-hmm. Ina- di ba? Kung ano nga ginawa. Maraming hindi, ginawa, hindi magagandang ginawa sa akin. Yeah. I, let them, I, I let go of yeah. those feelings. Those, those energy. I always believe that there is good pa rin in other people. Mm-hmm. So I kept, I kept uh, the faith and I kept trusting people pa rin. I just be careful. Nagiging careful lang ako. But Baba. I never give up believing them. For example, may bata. Makulit yung bata. Believe that this child will be a leader. Yeah. To all parents out, to all parents out mm-hmm. there, please, itong advice ko sa inyo, kahit anong kulit ng bata na yan, please, huwag kayong gigive up. Mm-hmm. Kasi yung makulit na bata yan, baka yan ang, yan ang maging successful. I don't have the survey right now, no, but sabi nila, yung mga matitigas na ulong bata, yan daw nagiging chances of higher success. Really? Bakit, bakit kamo? Kasi matigas ang ulo nila eh. Psychologically speaking, matigas ang ulo. Mm. So probably, pag mayroong pagsubok na dumandaan doon sa bata, matigas din ang ulo niya. <laughs> Kaya rin niya. Kakaya rin niya. Kakaya rin niya rin. Yes, kasi makulit siya eh. Matigas na ulo ng bata siya eh. So, kaya lang you have to guide them to the right path Uh-oh. para to make sure yung kanyang hmm. actions is within moral, ethical uh, uh, values. So then, hmm. That's why you you believe that there's good. I know because dati ako makulit na bata. I was a bad boy nung bata ako. I was, you know, hindi ako naging, I was a very naughty kid. And mm. um, my 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 mom was so patient with me. Kung di mm. siya naging patient sa akin, wala ako ngayon dito. Because she believed I can really? be good. Hindi. Hanggang mag-mature ng you know, my... Mm. Next is, eto, number seven, success attitude. I like to share mm. with you, real life experience. You have to understand, you have to have an attitude that life is a learning process. It is. It's not just a journey. It's not just a journey. Ha? Sabi, life is a journey. Sabi nila, di ba? Well, yeah. a journey is a journey. Pero you have to understand, life is a learning process. Have you learned a lot, di ba? Have you learned? Have you, have you evolved in the process? Mm-hmm. Which is better, the journey or the process? The learning process. Yeah, that's right. Uh, you, well, yeah, I'm sure I agree. For me, for me, yeah, for me. And they said it's the process yeah. also. Yes, it's a process. I, yes, I understand that life is a journey, but also understand it's a process. Hindi, mm. Kasi kung journey lang yan, di journey lang, di ba? So, mm. how's the journey? Bakit pa ulit-ulit ka nagkakamali? Bakit pa Atcha, ulit-ulit nagkakamali? And Sir Eric, yeah. ang dami nang antagal lang nag-journey, wala pa rin natututunan. Exactly. Thank you. Uh, yes. Diba? Yeah, that's mm-hmm. my point. Journey ka lang journey. <laughs> mm-hmm. Pero walang learning. Walang, <laughs> walang realization. <laughs> that's right. That's right. And then you wonder, bakit ganito ang buhay? Ano, diba? What's happening? Diba? Uh-huh. Oh, so, mm-hmm. there is a learning process. Kung, kung ikaw na de-depress ngayon, hindi dahil sa hindi mo lamang gagawin mo, hindi mm-hmm. ka nakapag-prepare mm-hmm. to improve, to, yes. to learn in the process. Yan ang totoo, my friends. I'm sorry ha, baka ibang, si mga, ibang sinasabi ko, baka hindi nagugustuhan. I'm just straight Ta- to the point lang. Pero we're, tama we're ka, life. sir. Tama ka, sir, Eric. Kasi even yung depression, yung moments of depression, can be our teacher as well. Hmm. Diba? Yung, yung, even hmm. yung learning, you, you mean, the depression state is a learning experience to be humble, hmm. to be well-prepared, hmm. to be more frugal. So it's still part That's of the right. process. That's right. At saka, alam mo, well, talking about ano, the, the, the process of education, hindi natin masisisi yung mga bata today compared nung panahon mm-hmm. natin. Kasi nung panahon mm-hmm. natin, kung compare mo, we were, we, we were spanked by our parents. Oh, ay, grabe. Ngayon, di ba? Palo. Mamimili ka. Sinturon. Chinelas. Oh, ngayon, wala na. Hanger, wala, wala na. na. But look, well, yes. indirectly, look what happened to us. But, we were more, more matibay. Oo oh, nga. Ang matibay sa buhay. Mm-hmm. Notice yung mga bata ngayon, hindi ko naman nila lahat, ano, but mm. mapapansin mo, they were being programmed na, they were being programmed na, okay, dahil ano ka, hindi ko pwedeng sabihin sa'yo to, mm. mahinawan ako magsalita sa'yo, mm. diba? So, yes. they're conditioning you to be weak. Mm. Kasi feeling nila, okay, because I'm weak, kaya kailangan, you should treat me, you, should, you don't oh, say words that okay. would hurt my feelings. My, okay. my, so, imagine the self-esteem and then the self-esteem mm-hmm. dep- dep- depreciates. Kaya magtataka ka, pagdating ng ano, pag-graduate nila, pag wala makitang trabaho, depression. 
Okay. Saan na nakakita sa US, nag-suicide teenager dahil inang friend lang sa Facebook. Kawawa naman. Hindi ko talaga mang hindi talaga ako kawawa sila. Kawawa. Ganun, ganun, ka, ganun katindi ang self-esteem. And mm-hmm. this is where our role bilang speakers and motivation yeah. and inspiration is we really have to get this message out to them. Mm-hmm. Hey, Facebook lang yan. Yeah. <laughs> so what kind mm-hmm. of friend ka? Di ang friend mo sila, tutan, di naman lahat ng 5,000 friends mo, friends yan eh. Delete mo yung mga yan. Yeah. Bashers, delete mo yan. Yes. Yeah. So like it's a learning, don't forget, it's a learning process. It's a learning process. process. Gusto ko yan. Learning the thing. And then ito, very important ito, which I also apply my personal life, in business mm-hmm. too as well. Use mm-hmm. your intuition. Maraming sa ating dito kasi, we, we develop our skills, but we never develop our intuition mm-hmm. all our life. You, we try to set aside. What is intuition? It is the ability okay, to understand a situation mm-hmm. without, uh, without any um, uh, common, without any common uh, reasoning. Mm-hmm. Without reasoning. Na, nafe-feel mo when something's mm-hmm. wrong. Minavabibrate ka. Meron kang nafe-feel. Gut. It could be gut. It could be instinct. You call Uh-oh. it in psychology. But for me, it's called, in, for me, it's intuition. Mm-hmm. Yung nafe-feel mo. So you have to trust trust this process so that mm-hmm. when you're meeting people, may problema yung tao, your attitude is your intuition is to be very understanding to them. Mm-hmm. So, mag-usap tayo. Okay, tapos pag, pag alam mo may manluloko sa'yo, mukhang lulokohin ka, nafe-feel mo. Parang mm-hmm. binobola ako itong kausap ko. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> business, business. And this is the reason why I survived in business. Na mm-hmm. naiiwasan ko yung mga taong gusto kong lokohin o manloko. Kasi you have this intuition. You practice your power okay. of intuition. It's there. Lahat tayo meron mm-hmm. yan. You have, to, you have to practice it. Okay. So intuition. Your ability to understand the situation without common reasoning. Mm-hmm. Number nine. Ito. Yeah. Napakaroon ito. Oh. Rise, 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 rise from failures mga kasama sa buong mundo. Ating mga friends in US, Europe, Middle East. Lahat na nagkikinig ngayon sa ano to, video na ito. Mm-hmm. Remember, failures will never end. This is not about being positive. Success strategy is not being positive lang, my friends. After this webinar, uh, next week, next month, next year, you will encounter lots and lots of failures. But don't forget, for every failure, you can rise. Yes. Ang yan, ha? You can rise. Mm-hmm. Ang gagawin ko. Sige. Sabi ni Eric sa training, I will rise. I will rise again. Makakaraos kayo. Because, you know, ano sa tingin nyo? Mawawala na ng failures after the pandemic. Do you yeah. really think ma, ma, hindi tayo mauubusan ng failures? Mm. Ako na lang, ako na lang sample ang dami ko naging failures din sa buhay. But that's how you learn. Yeah. That's the only way you learn from failures. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The hard way. Okay. Rise, well, don't forget, rise from failures. Then number 10, the 10 success attitude. Ito sana to become a high performer, to succeed in any undertaking, including moving from this pandemic. My friends, be very, very fearless mm-hmm. in taking action. Everything that we have discussed today, take action. This will not, you know, taking action is not just watching a podcast, watching mm-hmm. a video, reading a book. Taking action is really taking action. At wag kayo matakot kung magkaroon ng ano, failure or ano. You, know, you, you just go out there and do it. Like, mm-hmm. you know, Steve Jobs, you know, uh, Rockefeller. Mm-hmm. Henry Ford, lahat ng mga, mapapansin nyo, lahat ng mga magagaling sa industry, they all had a fearless mindset, taking action. So, and when you, okay, let me ask you this question before we end this, this slide. Sige. Imagine nyo, my, imagine nyo mga lahat ng naginig, imagine nyo, you are fearless in life. How limitless would you be kung hindi kayo natatakot? Kung hindi kayo takot sa pandemic? Hmm. Imagine nyo lang. Alisin mo yung pandemic mo na ngayon. Hmm. Imagine mo how limitless you are. Yeah. Diba? So you see, you already have that energy within you. You already have hmm. that power. And this is what I'm sharing. And I'm sharing this power to you. You have that hmm. power. I'm just uh, reinforcing that power that within you na hindi mo ginamit. Masyado tayo na lockdown for two months. Hmm. Pati yung don't let your potentials ma-lockdown din. Uh. Pati lockdown, pati sarili mo nilockdown mo. Hmm. <laughs> your mindset. Your mind is so precious. Yeah. Then, alam niyo ba, hovel kwento ko lang sa inyo high school. 
Mm. In 30 minutes, the power ng mind natin, 30 minutes, inisip ko magkakalagnat ako dahil ayoko matinong subject ng trigonometry. 30 minutes, nag-focus ako, magkakasakit ako, magkakasakit ako. Alam mo, nilagnat ako in 30 minutes. <laughs> Grabe, no? Mm. True story yan. And Galing. tapos nung nasa, nung nasa clinic na ako, ni-reverse ko yung thinking ko, ayoko nang gawin ko sa sarili ko. So, wala akong sakit, wala akong sakit, mm. wala akong sakit. So, bumalik, bumalik yung health ko. Until now, hindi ko ma-explain, pero ganun pa lang ka-powerful yeah. ang mind. That's, that's how powerful our mind is, no? Mm. Yeah. So, that's the key, ha? The 10 success attitudes. I hope you would uh, use this mm-hmm. and share this to others. Apply, apply nyo, first apply and then mm-hmm. share it to others. Because if you say, ah, uh, sige, after the pandemic na ako kikilos, or maybe after two months, no. Procrastin- that's procrastination. And for me, mm. procrastination is a form of excuse for not taking action. Don't, this is one, my, ito, gusto ko i-share sa inyo. Please, don't, don't make excuses to yourself. Mag-excuse ka na mm-hmm. sa iba, bagwag sa sarili mo. Don't make excuses to yourself. And um, while the rest of the world are still watching news, Mm-hmm. For two months na. Kayo naman, focus on improving your income generating skills. Ngayon, alam yeah, mo na ang gagawin mo. Natin, yeah. Nandun ka na. Ah. Nandun ka na mm-hmm. sa circle of ano mo, control mo na kayo mm-hmm. mo hindi, na within your control. This is something within my control. I can improve my skills, Howell. Totoo. Na kung paano mag-improve. Ayan, ang dami. Andyan kayo, si Howell. Andyan ang mga speakers ng Arriba. Ang mm-hmm. daming mm-hmm. sources where you can get those income generating. Now, if you want uh, marketing skills, I can teach you a lot. Kaya lang kulang ang oras natin. This is not about sales and marketing. Mm-hmm. But I'm just saying with you that may pag-asa, my friends, don't think that you only have one skill, you have multiple skills. Hindi mo lang ang ginagamit. At hindi mo ginagamit kasi hindi ka niniwala sa sarili mo. Kaya dapat, Sir Eric, merong volume 2. Volume 2 ang webinar volume mo. Two. Ang webinar mo. <laughs> ha? Dapat, ha? <laughs> If I mean, of course, of course, of course. <laughs> and permits. So remember, my friends, don't forget, improve your income generating skills. Ano ba income generating skills? Sige, tatanong ko na. Oh, nung araw, ang trabaho ko, waiter. Mm-hmm. Ito lang alam ko, waiter. Sige, uh, mm-hmm. waiter, 8,000 pesos a month. Okay, Uy, yung laki ng sweldo mong waiter, ha? Karabi. Yes. Okay, may kasama, Say, 12 yogurt. hours, 12 hours. And it's a five-star hotel. Yes. It's a five-star hotel. Sa dat- ngayon, Sofitel ang tawag. Mm-hmm. Okay, so waiter ako. Pero sabi ko, hmm, ano paano ko kaya ma-improve ang skills ko? O oh, kailangan ko matuto ng marketing skills. Pero hindi ko magagawa yon kapag ito yung ginagawa. So I have to let go of job and learn new skills. Mm-hmm. Kaya ngayon, ang income ko noon at saka ngayon, malayo ang pinagkaiba. Mm-hmm. Anong difference? Skills ang pinagkaiba. Yeah. Which took years and experience. Man, mm-hmm. Changing your mind and evolving in the process. Ngayon, naka- gustong-gusto ko yun, trabaho ko, nakaupo lang, pirma-pirma, may check ka na, may 1 million ka na. Sana all, ano? Sana all. Oh, uh, di ba? So, kaya, 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 my friends, kaya, kaya. Remember my story, ha? Remember my story. Yes, Dati yes, lang yes. po itong waiter. Ha? Waiter really? lang po ako noon. And, pero hindi ako sumuko. Mm-hmm. Hindi ako sumuko. Kaya niyo magbago. Kaya huwag niyo isipin itong pandemic na to. You can learn online skills to improve Tama. your income generating skills. Sir Eric, naalala ko nung college yeah, ako, eh, working student ako, <laughs> Jollibee, 10 pesos per hour, hingal kabayo sa pagod. Oh my gosh. So, kasama rin yun. Grabe. That's why I can relate. Na I dati, know. 10 mm-hmm. piso kada oras. Ngayon, huwag na lang natin sabihin. 10 piso. Okay. Mm-hmm. And there were many times na uuwi ako ng bahay. Wala na ako. Sakto lang yung pamasahe ko. Naglalakad ka? Wala, ako na. Wala na ako. Wala na ako. Wala na ako. Wala na ako. My friends, we, we all have our stories. Remember? Galing, we all galing. have our stories. Lahat tayo mm-hmm. yung mga stories sa ganun. Pina, pinapaalala mm-hmm. ko lang sa inyo na kung yun ay kinaya nyo. This is nothing. This challenge. Ayan. At uh, sina- na, sa mga nagsasabi na hindi nyo daw kaya magbago, doesn't believe in you, mm-hmm. please mm-hmm. my friends, ito tandaan nyo to, ha. this is my 1090 formula. Mm-hmm. I'm sharing with you, my 1090. Mm-hmm. Don't forget that 10% of the world mm-hmm. are th- think positive kagaya natin. So, okay. Sorry, ha, konti, konti lang po talaga tayo. This is mm-hmm. according to the survey. You can check, I have all the surveys I can show you. Mm-hmm. That ito yung naging... Mm, Ni round off ko na lang. Mm-hmm. 10% of the population are think positive. Konti lang mga kagaya natin. Mm-hmm. 90% are negative. So, tandaan yan. So, I suggest focus on the few, not the majority. Tama. Kung hindi, hindi kayang handle yung mga bashers, 
<laughs> di ba? Huwag nyo naman pagkinan yung mga bashers na yan. Scroll up lang. Scroll up. Scroll up. Yeah. Scroll up. Scroll up. Scroll up. Scroll up. Scroll up. Delete. Oh. Oh. Focus on those who are successful. Kagaya ni Mr. Howell, ni Miss Irish. Ng, lahat ng mga speakers. Mr. JM. Oh. And some, yeah. And, and, and Mr. JM. Lahat. Yun ang sundan nyo muna yung model na yun. Yung 10% na yun. Then pag successful ka na, saka mo nabalikan yung mga 90%. Oh. Kasi hindi mo you cannot help the 90%. You yes. can't save them all. Mm-hmm. Kung ikaw mismo, wala. Tama. You tama, cannot tama. help them kung ikaw wala. So you have mm-hmm. to succeed first. Mm-hmm. You have to be part of the 10%. Remember the triangle kanina? The wealth triangle? Mm-hmm. Konti lang talaga eh. And uh, to those who are still coping, naintindihan ko yan, hindi naman po lahat perfect, di ba? Some are coping, some are uh, ready to move on na, gigil mm-hmm. na. So this is my formula. No stress. Sabihin nyo, yeah. no stress. No stress. no stress, my friend. No pressure, ha? Basta too much, kasi too much breaking news will affect your mental and physical health. Mm-hmm. Kaya ang gawin nyo, sign off, close the TV, anything na hindi productive sa mind, alisin nyo, pray every night, that's my suggestion to have a success attitude, and share whatever you can, whatever. Yan, yan. Yes. Oh, me and my wife, we were donating rice sa amin. Mm-hmm. Sa amin mm-hmm. sa Laguna. Oh, nung kaya mo lang. No, mm-hmm. no pressure. It breaks the activity para mm-hmm. you can live a fulfilling life. And remember this, the power of the mind, ah. Sabi nga nung ito nakaraang ano, ang dami ko nakuha mga... Uy, grabe na- yan! Oo. Oh, oh. oh. This is a true story, ha, nung nakaraang oh, pandemic. Oh. Si Atty. Navarro, na nag-survive sa COVID, oh, ang sabi niya ito, kinikturan ko eh. Mm-hmm. Sabi niya, ang, ang pananatiling maratag ang iyong isipan, yan daw ang mm. naging dahilan kaya siya nakarecover sa COVID. Toto. So that's the power of the mind. Totoo pala. First person to openly admit that he was COVID-19 positive. Hmm. Kasi kung di siya positive, para siyang, wala, nadediretso na siya. Sigurado. Oh, oh, yeah. But he, he, sabi niya, he, his mental mind was the yeah. Tama. Tama. Okay, yeah. so mga kasama ha, so totoo ang ano, positive success attitude. Totoo, totoo. 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 evidence. But the mind is that powerful. So, and before we close, we conclude our topic. Uh, I'd like to share this with you. No? Um, uh, always be consistent. Let your faith be as strong as your will. Diba, lahat tayo, we pray so hard. Mm-hmm. Sabaya, dapat kung ano yung hard yung magdasal, yun din ang hard ng will nyo dapat. You have a, hindi, pwede, hindi pwede nagdadasal tayo tapos mahina ang loob. Oo. Parang hindi, hindi consistent eh, no? Hindi eh. Wag na wag niyo kokontrahin yung dasal niyo by mm. negative attitude. Mm. Panay nga ang dasal mo eh kinok negative Sino? thinker ka naman. <laughs> ano mang ano mangyayari? Well, hindi eh. Hindi balanse. So, dapat consistent. Let your faith be consistent, mm. as strong as your will. And that uh-huh. I think God will be very happy with us. I love it. Grado ko that my blessing. So that concludes our topic. Um, Howell, I think, are we on time? Hindi ko na naman. Napaka naman natin si Sir Eric Manalo. Sir Eric, almost two hours yung homily mo, ha? It felt like a homily. It's like you are a a pastor, an imam, a priest, a minister, uh, a lay minister, an economist, a teacher, a professor, a prophet rolled into one. And we thank you. Time flew so fast because of your inspiring, highly informative, practical, uh, and an authentic presentation. So, palakpak ka naman natin, Sir Eric. Mabuhay ka. Mabuhay ka. Sir Eric, ganito ha. Bigyan natin sila ng dalawang minuto. So, right now, it's 4.43. So, plus two minutes, we'll have just 15 minutes of uh, Q&A. Pwede mag-extend tayo ng another five para mga maging 20 minutes man lang yung Q&A natin. Okay. Okay, so okay. sige. So thank you, Sir Eric, for our Zoom participants. And ayaw, we're being flooded now. And daming gr- gratitude of ano, Dami diba? <laughs> Dami. Sige. So two minutes, and okay. I will need to, to go. I will need to go to the to the room and and relieve myself yeah. for two minutes. Everyone, type in your question at the Q and A box. Balikan natin. Exciting. Maraming salamat. Babuhay ka, Sir Eric. Walang aalis. See you in two minutes, everyone.